family to One Footed Phoenix. One of the questions I get asked the most is why am I in a wheelchair? And the short version is that I ended up as an amputee after a long battle with a condition called CRPS or complex regional pain syndrome. And this condition was caused by an accident where I was hit by a car while riding my bike on my mission. And if you'd like to know more about my mission and about my story, you can click the link in the description down below and watch it after this video. The idea to make this video came from the channel Wheel Snow Heel. If you'd like to check them out, I'll put links in the description down below so that you can check them out after this video. Am I a full-time wheelchair user or a part-time wheelchair user? I'm a mostly full-time wheelchair user, though I do have a prosthetic leg, and I use this when I can, but I'm only able to use my prosthetic leg for up to a couple hours a day. So when I'm not in my prosthetic leg, I definitely prefer to be in my wheelchair because it is, I feel like it's safer and I feel like I am not as likely to fall, but also my wheelchair is pretty comfortable. So I just prefer to use my wheelchair. What make and model is your chair? My wheelchair is a Quickie 2 ultralight wheelchair. It's made with aerospace aluminum and it's pretty lightweight. I would say that my only complaint is that it can be pretty heavy to try to get up into the car on my own. And so I don't take it out on my own a whole lot for that reason because it can be pretty tricky to get up high enough into my vehicle. Now, I have a pretty high vehicle, so this might not be a problem for everyone that has a Quickie 2, but overall, I really do like my Quickie 2 wheelchair. My wheelchair is also a folding frame over a rigid frame, and I got the folding frame so that it would be easy for other people to get it in and out of the vehicle, and so that there's more trunk space, and so that I can travel with this wheelchair a lot easier. And I think that I might want to try a rigid wheelchair when it comes time to getting a new one. I may try out a rigid frame um, just because it could be easier to get in and out of a car, but I really don't know because I've never tried a rigid frame wheelchair. I've only had a folding wheelchair the whole time that I've had a wheelchair. From my first wheelchair to the wheelchair I have now, I've only ever had a folding frame. On my wheelchair, you'll notice something with the brakes. I have these extenders on my brakes, so it's like the long handle right here, and it allows you to engage the brakes much easier and much quicker than it would with the brake extenders off of the wheelchair. I love my brake extenders, and I think it makes it much easier to feel in control of my wheelchair. On the back of my wheelchair, you'll notice that I have these handles that kind of point down, that's because these are actually folding handles and they fold out of the way so that when I don't want people pushing me, I can fold the handles out of the way. And it says to other people, don't push me if I don't ask you to, because that is literally my pet peeve when people just push me and I don't ask them to. That is my biggest pet peeve about being in a wheelchair. <laughs> but anyway, the folding handles take care of most of that and I haven't really had people try to push me without me asking them to since I got the wheelchair with the folding handles. Now it is nice because when I need the handles they just pop up like this with a click and I love that they pop up like that with the click so that if my little drive system is on the fritz I can have someone push me or if needs be, I can have someone push me up a hill or whatever I need them to push me for. This wheelchair has the X-Core spokeless wheels and I love the spokeless wheels because you don't have the maintenance that you would like on wheels that have spokes like on a bike, but my wheels don't have those so you don't have the added maintenance of having to routinely tighten those. And I love that about this wheelchair. I also love that this wheelchair does not have air tires, but it has instead rubber tires. And the rubber tires are really nice because you can never get a flat tire on this wheelchair and I never have to worry about that. I used an older Quickie before I got this one that is custom fitted to me. 
I used an older quickie that I got secondhand and that one did have flat tires on it when I got it and so it was really annoying because it had flat tires on it and then it was like super expensive to find the tires that would fit it and my local bike shop actually found the tires that would fit the wheelchair and they went digging through their entire inventory just to find the wheels for me so that I could have wheels for my wheelchair and I still am super greatly appreciative of the fact that they would do that for me just so that I could be a recent amputee and have a wheelchair because like I didn't really have a good wheelchair before my amputation. I just had one of those that like you can't push yourself in it like someone else would have to push you because it was super heavy and like big and awkward and it didn't fit through the doors and all of that so on my wheelchair i have the frog lake casters and frog lake casters have like little springs inside them and they uh actually like buffer the impact when you do wheelies and like bump over bumps and like up and down curbs and stuff and so I got the frog leg casters to kind of like absorb some of the shock waves that run through my wheelchair when I'm in it. And that is because I have a very sensitive leg that is super sensitive to vibrations. I have a SMOV1 unit or a SMOV1 power assist unit. It goes on the back of a wheelchair. So there's a bar that goes on the back of the wheelchair and then the little power assist unit clips into the bar um, that goes into the axles of the wheels and then that's how it turns the axles of the wheels so it actually can drive the wheelchair for you and it turns your manual chair into a power wheelchair which is super cool and really useful for many situations where I go out in my wheelchair and go do things in my wheelchair. What cushion do I use? I use a J Soft Kobe wheelchair cushion and it's been pretty comfortable. Um, I have heard things that people say that these kind of J cushions are not very good for people who don't weigh a whole lot. And I'm definitely in that category of people who don't weigh a whole lot. So that could be something to consider, but this is the only cushion that I've really tried other than a just like foam cushion that was just like a block of foam and this cushion is definitely more comfortable than that so i would recommend this cushion for anyone looking for a wheelchair cushion what is your favorite skill in a wheelchair wheelies i love wheelies and being able to learn how to do a wheelie has expanded my ability to get up and down my driveway and wheelies are just fun to do so I would recommend for anyone who's a new wheelchair user to learn how to do wheelies because it's helpful when you get out on your own and when you are trying to get up and down curbs, which I can't quite do that yet, but I'm hoping to be able to learn how to get up and down curbs here soon. And I also recommend to maybe get wheelie bars on your first wheelchair. Um, this wheelchair does have wheelie bars that can go on it. However, I took them off a while ago because now that I'm used to the wheelchair, um, I've had it for about a year and a half, so now that I'm used to the wheelchair, I don't feel like I'm gonna fall back and crack my head open, but it was nice to have them there while I was learning how to do wheelies. What's the best thing about being in a wheelchair? The best thing for me about being in a wheelchair is having an opportunity to help other people through what I've been through. And what I mean by that is that I have an opportunity to have this YouTube channel and I have an opportunity here to educate people and grow people's perspective on disability because I'm in a wheelchair. The worst thing for me about being in a wheelchair is that people don't always know what to say to you when you are in a wheelchair or they act like being in a wheelchair is a bad thing or that it's like a sign of giving up and it's not. Having a wheelchair is liberation and it allows me to do so many more things than I could do if I didn't use a wheelchair. If I didn't use a wheelchair, I'd be housebound for most of the time and I wouldn't be able to get out very much um, because I can only get out so much on my prosthetic. 
What is the most stupid question that I've been asked while being in a wheelchair? This one is a good one that I had to think about. I'm not sure that I've really been asked like a really dumb question while I've been in the wheelchair. However, I have been asked a lot uh, how I ended up in the wheelchair, number one. And then number two, what I've been asked a lot is, do I have a prosthetic because I'm an amputee? And I feel like it's almost a little bit demeaning when people ask me if I have a prosthetic. And I think that's because like, people kind of act like it's a bad thing to have a wheelchair and it's really not a bad thing to have a wheelchair. So what advice would I give to someone who is looking for a wheelchair for the first time? I would say go watch Wheels No Heels because she has a great channel and she does have a lot of really good advice on picking a wheelchair and choosing a wheelchair. And I would say to watch the channel Empowered Para, uh, which is another channel about a wheelchair user who's a full-time wheelchair user and she also deals with paralysis. And then there is another channel called No Limb Gym. And that is about an amputee who is missing both legs and all of his fingers. At least part of all of his fingers. And I would also say to watch Stefanina's Amputee Adventures. Now, if your name is on this list and we haven't seen a video about your wheelchair yet, we'd like to hear about it. Feel free to tag me and to tag Wheels No Heels in your video so that I can see it and she can see your video as well about your wheelchair. Thank you so much for coming and watching this video all the way through. It means a ton to me as the creator that you're taking time out of your busy schedule to come and spend it with me. If you would like to see another One Footed Phoenix video, click over here and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you, bye.